You spent time, money, energy, and precious water to develop a garden only to have it be taken over by ants, aphids, worms, and more. What if you could use products from your pantry to get rid of them? Food coach Lori Corbin found a local expert that does just that using food as pesticide. There's nothing more frustrating than going to get your garden bounty only to find something's beat you to it. But expert Andy Lopez says bug killer won't solve your problems. It doesn't deal with the law of cause and effect. It only deals with the effect. The problem remains, and your solution against garden pests is temporary. Lopez says first start with the proper soil combination. If plants get a full spectrum of minerals, they won't have these challenges. He recommends rock dust, which provides the minerals, a live organic compost that offers a probiotic or good bacteria for the soil, and an acid mix mulch to help hold water. Along with some of the organic products that Lopez uses, any one of these food products can help push pests away. Tabasco, garlic, coffee beans, or cold brew coffee are all effective repellents. I learned a long time ago, I used to take Louisiana Tabasco sauce, a little bit of water, and a little bit of water you spray on your plants. It's an effective way to, for the bugs to come, no, I don't think so. He uses one tablespoon hot sauce, garlic, or strong cold brew coffee with a gallon of water and spray it all over your plants. If you can smell it, the bugs smell it 10,000 10, times even more. You can also use one tablespoon of flour in a gallon of water and stir to form a layer of flour on the leaves or the base of a tree. Anybody will come along with start getting flour all over them and go, well, I don't think so, and it, it's a deterrent. He invented a liquid seaweed fertilizer to feed good nutrients to your plants. Lopez also uses a tablespoon of vinegar per gallon of water, which creates a plant with higher sugar content. So remember, the higher the sugar yeah. level, the, if you have all the minerals, the bug can, cannot eat that. So with a little help from your pantry, your edible garden has a fighting chance. Lori Gorbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.